The original Super Nintendo is the successor of the original NES. And in 2016, we got the NES Mini. And as the success of that little console, we got the SNES Mini. And I recently bought the SNES Mini and I gotta say, it's a neat little console. The SNES Mini has 22 games in total, and I got to say, the lineup is pretty good. Of course, there's Super Mario World, Kirby Superstar, and The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. But there are also games like Super Mario RPG and Secret of Mana, and even Star Fox 2, which is only playable on this console. But first, you have to beat the first level of Star Fox 1, but I'm not that good at Star Fox. The games can be played in three different modes. The first one being the CRT filter, which gives the games some static lines, like how it was with the old TVs, and then we have 4x3, which is the biggest mode because it displays the games to have more room to see, and the last one is Pixel Perfect, which mimics it, the games to the original screen size it would have been on the old TVs. There are also background themes, which just change how the backgrounds look, and my favorite one is the space theme. These games all look gorgeous in 720p, which is a big upgrade from the original quality of the original Super Nintendo, which is really nice, but the controller has been downgraded a little bit. The cable of the controller is pretty short compared to the original, and I own the original, but besides that, it feels like the original, just with some newer plastic. Something that I also find really cool is that the port you put in the console can be plugged into a Wii remote, so you can use your SNES mini controllers on games on the Wii and Wii U, which also means that you can use the Wii Classic controller and the Wii Classic controller pro on the SNES mini. Those are a lot of positive things about this small little console, but there are some downsides with the SNES mini. I already said that the cable is shorter, so you can't have that big of a distance from the console while playing and you also need to press the reset button on the console to choose another game or to make or to use a save state but with the Wii classic controllers you can just press the home button on them and that works the same and I gotta say it's actually better. All in all the SNES mini is a neat little console which is perfect for some old school gaming and yeah if the original will be smaller the cables would also be a bit smaller but still it's a great way to replay those old Super Nintendo classics.